Hey guys, this is Mr. 3D Hero here, and in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the Wizard 77 Fusion Rifle that you can get from Shaq's questline that was introduced in the Roy DLC. We will focus on the perks and the game and the gunplay for it, and whether you should keep it or not. So I hope you enjoy. So the 77 Wizard can can be gained either from playing the Crucible and by staying to the end for Crucible drop. Or by completing Shaq's questline for for the new game mode Supremacy, and once you complete it, he offers you three weapons. These three weapons vary from sniper, the shotgun, or fusion rifle. Now we're gonna be focused on the fusion rifle that was made apparent, and the perks and sights are as followed: red dot ORS, sure shot IS, and red dot ORS1. The perks are also performance bonus, quick draw, brace frame, accelerated coils, and cascade. So from my playthrough of the weapon, I found that using the red dot ORS and brace frame allowed me to win one on one situation, much more compared to using the other sights, although using sure shot IS made my aim assist or stickiness more, more accurate for landing shots while Red Dot ORS1 improved my range when ADSing, but only quite a bit. Now because the weapon has a slight low charge rate, around the same as Dark Face Bite, it meant that I had to keep a good distance and only use when either the enemy at least expected it, or when the health was low. Sometimes you may be able to pull off 1v1 situations and be able to completely annihilate them with it, but because of its charge rate, I recommend that you keep your distance and only attack when you feel you have the right time and you feel the engagement is right. Charge rate isn't a problem for those that have used fusion rifles that are similar in type, but you can use accelerated coils instead for a faster charge rate for the trade off less impact, but it's not that noticeable honestly. But switching to it means that you have less stability and that means your shots, that means your shots are going to be more spread out the further you are against opponents. So, if you aim down sight and the enemy is quite a good distance away from you, then it's a 50-50 chance that you'll land your shot and one-shot the enemy. Um, because when you think about it, the more stability you have your fusion rifle, the more accurate, or shall I say, the more vertical your shots are gonna be. If you're, now, when you aim down a fusion rifle, it either goes up left or up right, or maybe in some cases straight up. If it kind of bounces off and doesn't hit the target square, I'll say, from the chest or the groin area, and it doesn't land, you're gonna have quite an issue. So that's why I always recommend players to always get a fusion rifle that has decent stability straight away. And then you can focus on having maybe range finder or brace frame and such to further improve the range and stability of the weapon, but it's up to you. Now, I suggest you use the Shot IS combined with AC coils and then change your playstyle to aggressive close quarters, as the charge rate and impact is enough to KO or finish weakened opponents. Also, this is because the lack of stability and range of the weapon makes it slightly weaker at medium ranges, so you need to play into its weakness and use it to self-improve it. The Red Dot ORS1 is ideal for 1v1 at ranges, so combine it with Brace Frame and the weapon is ideally decent, not the best, but decent at most ranges. Overall, I feel that using Red Dot ORS and Brace Frame is good for close to medium fights, while Sure Shot IS and AC Coils is good for aggressive clear quarters fights. And Red Dot ORS1 is alright for medium to long ranges, as long as it's using Brace Frame. So try out the weapon if you get a chance, and play around with the styles I mentioned. Because for all you know, the weapon might be an ideal candidate, or one of the best weapons you can use, or best fusion rifles to use in Crucible. Now if you don't enjoy it, I then I recommend that you use it in PvE instead where it's more guaranteed chance that you'll be able to take out opponents or enemies within one or two shots. But this is more of a PvP review, and to me, as long as you use the um the first well, as long as you use the following that I gave, some of the examples, 
you will have quite a good and decent match against other people. But overall, yeah, it's, a, it's quite a decent weapon. So I recommend that you try it out. And if not, just delete it, trash it, and use it for materials. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be doing more of these commentaries later on within... Well, later on when I get more fusion rifle clips and other fusion rifles to focus on. And I do hope you enjoy. If you did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more. Share the video as well. Let others hear. I would like to hear your opinions on it. Whether it was good, whether it was bad, or whether you felt like there was some part that was missed out. But like I said, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon.